Hello, and welcome to another book haul. I went to Waterstones today and I bought two books, and then I went to my Healthy Planet place and bought five more. So I will show you what I got. The first book I got from Waterstones is Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers. This is uh, book one in His Fair Assassin Chronicles. And yeah, it's called Grave Mercy. It's basically a love story. Um, I'll, I'll read you the back. Trained as an assassin by the god of death, Ismay is sent to the court of Brittany, where she finds herself unprepared, not only for the games of intrigue and treason, but for the impossible choices she must make. How far can she deliver death's vengeance upon a target who, against her will, has stolen her heart? A dangerous romance full of intrigue, poison, and ultimately finding one's way. So yes, that's Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers. I know the second book, Dark Triumph, comes out very soon. So I need to get on and read this. Okay, second book I brought from Waterstones is... Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. Um, I've heard this is a brilliant book, and I know the second one, Crown of Midnight, comes out pretty soon. Um, so I can't wait to read this. And then I went to the Healthy Planet, and I got five books for a pound. That's all five for one pound, not, not a pound each. I was very happy. Very, very happy. And it's a brilliant place if you need books, and you don't want to pay over the odds. And it helps the planet, which is why it's good. So, I got Impossible by Nancy Whirlin. Now this is a love story, I think, based on the song Scarborough Fair by Simon and Garfunkel. Um, on the back it says, A family curse, three impossible tasks, only true love can save her. I'm looking forward to reading this, but it's a huge book. Well, to be fair, it looks huge, but it's not that huge. Let me just see if I can find... How many pages? It's 364 pages. So it's, it's quite big, to be honest. Okay, and then I got The Tesseract by Alex Garland. It's about three people's lives who are seemingly very different, but, and they're told uh, throughout the book separately, and then they all clash together. So, and this is by the same guy that wrote The Beach, which is a film with, I think, I think it's um, Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio. In the beach, uh, it's the same guy that wrote that, so I'm looking forward to reading that one. And then I got Sun Tzu, Mnemonymous Nine, which is short fiction by various authors, and this includes uh, it says here the names of the authors who created the short fiction within this book are shown below, but not in the same order as the titles in the contents list. So there are stories from Rosalind Barden. Gary McMahon, Amy Kinmund, Tim Nichols, Bob Locke, Leslie Carina, Jacqueline Seawold, Dominique Clements, AJ Kirby, Brendan Connell, Daniel Orsema, Orsema, I think, Gary Fry, Mick Finley, Robert Nielsen, Steve Duffy, Jeff Lowe, Stephen Bacon, Rod Heyman, Lee Hughes, Lynn Mitchord, Tony Lovell, AC Wise, Roy Gray, and Travis K. Weltman. So yeah, short fiction by those different authors, and I'm looking forward to delving into it. Sorry about that. Um, next book I've got is Everything Ravaged, Everything Burned by Wells Tower. Don't know anything about this book, but the back says, Violent, tender, and searingly funny, Wells Tower's stories have become a phenomenon. His startling portraits of angry teenagers, marauding Vikings, and drifting D4Cs have earned him a devoted readership, ecstatic critical praise, and a string of prizes and nominations. Behind the hype are the stories themselves, explosive combinations of electric prose and dark wit, which signal the arrival of a major new talent. I don't know too much about this book, but apparently it's really good. I've read about it on the internet, and my friends have told me it's good, so I thought I saw it and I thought I'd pick it up. And the last book I got is Dirt by David Van. This is an uncorrected bound proof, if you can see that. 
I don't know if you can see that, but it's an un uncorrected bound proof. And on the back, it actually says hardback, because it was published in hardback in June 2012, for 12 99 But I know you can pick this up in hardback in Waterstones for about eight, eight, nine pound now. But yeah, I've read uh, kind of three or four pages, four pages, and it's pretty good. It's told in a very strange way. It's about this boy called Garland. I'll read the back. Dirt is the story of Garland, a 22-year-old misfit from Central Valley, California, and the few summer days over which his unconventional life is irrevocably changed. Set in a baked rural landscape, it is a vivid, intense and shocking portrait of alienation, lust, violence and the bonds and burdens of family, and will be a major event in literary publishing for 2012. So, yeah, I've read a little bit of it, and it's quite good. So yeah, that's that. So those are all the books I got today. Um, I will have another book haul up for you soon. And if you have any questions or comments, you know what to do. Um, yeah, have a nice weekend. And I will see you again soon.